welcome back to Cikgu Ed channel. Okay, uh, for this video, I will cover from chapter 10, Mathematics Form 4, which is about financial management. And this video is for the part 1. I will cover on the financial plan planning and management. What does financial management mean? Financial management means it is a process that involves managing money from sources income into savings, expenses, protection, and investment. So, financial management is about how you manage your money from your sources income. What is your sources income? It is from the salary, allowance, and uh, so on. Okay? So, how you manage the income to save for saving and how to manage the money to make expenses. Uh, expenses involve uh, fixed expenses and variable expenses. Okay, for the protection is, uh, for example, is insurance. Okay, and from the income also you can make investment. Uh, saving and investment you have learned in Form 3. Okay, about the saving and investment. Okay. There are five steps in financial management process. Okay, what are the five steps? Okay, I have a tips here. Okay. The tips is you have to remember this situation. Okay. This picture is about crash car. Okay. So, you have to rem remember this. See an event of crash car at RNR. What does it mean? Okay. You know that there are five steps in financial management process. First is C is setting, setting goals. Okay, setting goals. And then the second step is you evaluate the financial status. Okay, evaluate the financial status. Number three is creating. When you have done with evaluate, you have to create your financial plan. Okay. And then when you have the financial plan, you carry out the financial plan. And the last one, review and revise the progress of the financial plan. Okay. First, we look at the setting goals. Okay. When you set a goal, it must be prioritized and specific. Okay. So, goal are divided actually into three and this for this syllabus you cover about the short terms and long term another one is the intermediate goal okay intermediate terms okay the first one is short term goals short term goals short term financial goal is the goal that can be achieved less than a year for example to buy a laptop to have a smartphone or cell phone and to buy a car okay for the long-term financial goals it involves more than five years period okay for example uh, for the education of children and for saving for retirement okay so the short terms and financial uh, the short term goals and the long-term goals is depends for individual okay for me to have a laptop is my short-term financial goals because I, for me, I can achieve it within a year. Okay, all right. The most important step to set goal, you should prioritize to meet your needs rather than wants. Okay. So, you have prioritized the needs rather than wants. What are needs? Needs is the basic needs such as food, accommodation and clothing. So, the needs should be given priority. Okay. The wants, what is wants? Wants is uh, the, the, our desire. Kemahuan. Okay. Kemahuan. Effective financial planning will help 
help us to avoid financial problem as well as to have an adequate savings in the events of emergency. Okay. In setting the goals, okay, you have to apply the concept of smart concept. Okay, what is smart concept or smart financial goals? It must be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. Okay, the meaning is for the specific is the goal must be clear and defined. If goals are too general, they will be hard to accomplish. You do not know what you want to achieve. All right? Okay. Measurable, measurable means the goal must be able to measure in order to achieve it. Okay? Either in terms of money or in terms of time, it can be measured. All right? For this situation, for the financial goals, it is about measure the cost or the money all right attainable attainable means the goal must be uh, achievable is it achievable is it possible to be achieved okay and realistic must be the goal must be relevant realistic okay relevant to achieve and time bound you have set a time bound or time limit when the goal should be achieved Okay, that one is about the smart financial goals. Okay, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. Okay, for the uh, effective financial planning, it have must have all these five elements or five components. All right, example of smart financial planning. Intake Yusuf will be create. Intake Yusuf will be celebrating Family Day in Port Dickson in six months. This celebration will cost him RM1500. Intake Yusuf needs to save RM250 a month from his incomes of RM2500 in order to achieve his financial goal. Okay, based on this statement, you have to identify whether this one is a smart financial planning. Okay. So, first, celebrating family day in Portison. So, Inche Yusuf have a specific goals. Okay. He want to celebrate family day in Portison. And then, the celebration will cost him RM1500. So, it, his goal can be measured in terms of cost, which is RM1500. 1,500. Next is attainable. Intake Yusuf will save RM 250 a month from his incomes of 2,500, which means that 10% of his income. So, this one is attainable because he can save 10% of his income in a month. Alright? And then, for the realistic, for the celebrating family day in Port Dickson in 6 months and save RM250 a month from his income of 2500 is realistic or relevant. Okay, because in 6 months, if, if he save RM250 a month multiplied by 6 months, okay, he can cover the cost of 1500 Okay, so it is relevance or realistic and the last one okay celebrating family day in port Dickson in six months so his plan have a time limit or the time bound so based on this statement based on this financial planning intake yusuf have a smart financial planning okay the second steps for the financial planning okay if to evaluate after you set the goal you have to evaluate you your financial status okay so evaluating financial status help us measure our performance in the efforts of achieving our short-term and long-term goal okay so the benchmark to evaluate our financial status at, 
we have to let look at our assets and liability. Okay, what is asset? Asset is, for example, our savings, properties, and our income. Okay, our cash. Okay, so that one is asset. And for the liability, liability is our obligation to pay. Okay, we have to pay. We we have responsibility to pay. For, for example, unpaid bills, and then the installment for loan, and the payment for the credit card. Okay, all of these unpaid bills, installment loans, and the credit card payment is our liability. Okay, next step. After you have considering, you evaluate your financial status, you create the financial plan. Okay, to create the financial plan, if we have, uh, we have to monitor our cash flow. Okay, how to monitor our cash flow? It is based on income and expenses. Income can be divided into two types, which is which are active income and passive income okay what is pass uh, active income active income is our main income for example for me my active income is salary okay and allowances the passive income example is uh, dividend interest from saving and so on okay that one is the passive income okay other than the uh, active income all right Expenses also can be divided into two, which are fixed expenses and variable expenses. What are fixed expenses? Fixed expenses, if is uh, we we know the fixed amount to be paid in every month. For example, the car installment, housing loan. Okay, that one are fixed expenses. Okay, and also insurance. Insurance also fixed expenses. Okay, variable expenses, for example, our utility bills, and then the telephone bills, and uh, food and drinks, entertainment, traveling, and so on. That one is variable. It ver varies every month. Okay, the amount is varies every month. Okay. When you know where your income and your expenses, you have to look at okay, whether the income is more than expenses. Okay, if the income is more than expenses, you have a positive cash flow. Okay, whereas if the income is less than expenses, it is a negative cash flow. Positive cash flow is known as surplus and negative cash flow is known as deficit. Okay, next is the steps to consider before creating a financial plan. Okay, first define the short term and long term goal and then make initial budget to achieve the goal. Number three, calculate monthly needed to achieve the short-term and long-term goals. And then you have to analyze, analyze the spending behavior. Number five, set a time frame to each goal. And the last one, determine income strategies that will help to achieve the financial goal. So these six steps is to consider before, uh, you have to consider these six steps before considering creating a financial plan. An effective financial management helps us develop strategies to manage our spending behavior to accumulate the monthly savings. The next step in financial planning is carrying out the financial plan. When you have uh, Create the financial plan, then you carry out the financial plans. Car uh, carrying out financial plans means you turn the financial planning into action that can be implemented. Okay, 
then follow the plan at early stage when you have the financial plan you follow the plan okay the most important thing you follow the plan at the early stage okay and then you have to be ready to change and compare the plan expenses and actual expenses maybe when you plan the expenses okay it will be different compared to the actual expenses so you have to be ready to change the your plan all right and then you have to ensure that cash flow always positive so when you carry out the plan the financial plan you must be ensure that you have a positive cash flow okay and number five the last one in financial planning and management you have to review and revise the progress okay review and revise the progress of financial plan from time to time is important because these steps want to make sure that the cash flow is always positive which means it direct indirectly help us to achieve our financial goals as planned so in general financial plans need to be reviewed from time to time if you do not manage your financial strategy according to the current situation then it is difficult to achieve the financial goal as planned all right so that's all for this video okay i will continue for the next part okay so see you in next video